Hey you guys, what's up, what's up? James here. I, um, you know, I was thinking of a topic that I wanted to address in a longer video format and one of the topics that I addressed on a reel, I feel like, you know, maybe it's something I can expound on a little bit because I feel like there are some ladies especially that were either just realizing this or maybe they were trying to, you know, they were kind of catching on that this is an ongoing pattern. Um, and this is the topic of uh, why, uh, you know, very attractive men tend to cheat. You know, I'm talk when I say attractive, I mean like universally attractive men that um, that most of you ladies would would you know would go for at a universal level. You know, like there's a six foot thing. You know, I know there's a lot of ladies fixated on you have to have a guy that's six foot. You know, even though that's only like 14 percent of the population, there's a lot of ladies fix on it, fixated on the fact that they have to have that. That that means something to them. You know, and you know, I, you know, being a five nine guy, I know that there are plenty of men, uh, you know, in you know, for example, that fight in the octagon that are not six feet, and they will they will terrorize somebody that's six foot. You know, so people that are five five, five six, five nine, they will terrorize. You know, so I think there's this off balance when it comes to that. But the video I'm really just trying to address is that uh, overall, is that. There are a lot of ladies that uh, grow up naturally, you know, they don't even have to work out really, and they naturally attract men. There are obese women that will attract uh, their uh, amount of men, you know, just, just naturally. There are women that are very uh, thin, there are attractive ladies, very attractive, you know, different levels of um, the type of attention a woman will receive. Um, so it's actually pretty natural for ladies, but when it comes to guys, the average guy is not getting that much, uh, that much action. You know, I'm going to say, uh, regardless of his worldview, regardless of his philosophy, whatever, the average guy is just not getting that type of uh, attention, not online, not in person. It's just not happening. Um, and so uh, what's interesting is that when you have men that um, put in maybe this additional work to be at a certain level, and I'm going to say, you know, they are uh, much more uh, financially um, secure than than the average uh, person. Maybe he is six foot. Maybe he is working out at the gym, and that is his life. That's his philosophy. Um, a lot of these guys that have these attributes, they don't feel the need and the desire to stick with one woman. And I know that you know there's some ladies would challenge that and say, hey, you know, what about a man that loves God? You know. Now I would say that yeah, if you uh, genuinely find a man that. Uh, genuinely loves the Lord, that is transformed by God's Spirit, someone who has repented and he's turning away from his sin, you can see that consistently in his life, absolutely. You should go for, you know, whether he's 5'9 or whatever, you know, average height, you know, is 5'9, uh, universally in the world, on all seven continents. So I don't know, again, why you ladies fixated on this six foot thing, but, um, yeah, a lot of these guys, they, uh, you know, they put in the work and they don't really see a reason to, um, to stick with one woman, you know, it's like they have the six foot height, you know, or maybe they're chiseled, they're built, maybe they have the look, maybe it's just the look, maybe it's just that, and they don't have the height, you know, necessarily, but they just have the very good looks. Um, for them, as a man, it's very different. They're thinking in their mind, if I can attract um, attractive women, but then why have one? Why have one? And so this is one of the reasons why I would challenge women, and this is what I talk, you know, I try to uh, ask and inquire when it comes to just talking to ladies in general, when it comes to their relationships and things like that, is what type of man are you interested in? What is his worldview? What does he believe in? That kind of stuff. Because there are a lot of ladies that, you know, they're just falling head over heels for a guy that has no intention of being with them long term. And there are a lot of ladies that are falling for this and they're just, you know, getting impregnated by these guys. The guys are checking out because they don't care. The intention was never to stay with uh, the woman to begin with. And this is a part of the job that you have, ladies, is you have the responsibility to find out who is this man before you start offering your body to him and your mind and, and your finances and your time and everything. You have to find out who that guy is. And you can't do that with him sweeping you off your feet and you have no uh, standard of what you're actually looking for or more specifically, what is objectively um, the right type of um, behavior that a man should be having. Now, as a Christian, I would challenge a woman, even if you're not a Christian, I would still, you know, uh, encourage a woman to you, uh, utilize a biblical worldview when evaluating what type of man you, you know, want to have in your life. Because what happens is when you offer yourself to men that are 
emotionally unavailable, uh, mentally unavailable, spiritually detached uh, from God and even from yourself. Um, you're, you're just you're just rolling the dice, rolling the dice, and it's a it's it's just a gamble whether he's going to check in or check out. You know, and uh, you know it's crazy because I know guys in my own family that have uh, you know they're very attractive. They've just and enjoyed their share of women. They are collecting basically children from that woman. They're creating, you know, impregnating multiple women. And this is just a regular practice with not only I'm talking about black community, I'm talking about any community. I just know plenty of people that they just deal with it because they just chose wrong. And so there has to be a time when you have to say, okay, wait a minute. I keep selecting the same type of guy and I'm getting the exact same results. Something needs to stop. Something needs to, to stop. And I think sometimes what throws a lot of uh, ladies off is there's this impression that they want to have, uh, you know, the, the really nice Instagram pictures and they want to have the guy that's very chiseled and a guy that's, uh, you know, six foot and they want to have the guy that is making a certain amount of money. I don't know, 100,000 or whatever, you know, I may be exaggerating a little bit, um, but it's really important that you have realistic expectations and more, most importantly, you're actually looking at things that actually matter in a man. You actually want to seek the things that actually matter in a man. You know, you want to look at how does he treat, you know, women in general? You know, uh, how does he treat his mother, his cousins, his sister? You know, what is his relationships with his family? You know, and, you know, even if they're abusing him or being, you know, mistreating him, how is he responding to that abuse or that neglect or whatever? How is he responding to that? And so um, one of the things I would like to share with a lot of you guys is the nine attributes of the fruit of the spirit. You know, these are nine attributes that every Christian uh, will display uh, to some capacity when they are uh, instilled with the Holy Spirit. When God changes somebody supernaturally, every man and woman will possess these nine attributes. And there's plenty of other attributes, but these are just some of the, uh, some of the attributes that the Bible provides. Um, and this is found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Um, there's a, a attribute of love, there's joy, there's peace, there's patience, there's kindness, there's gentleness, there's goodness, there's faithfulness. But most importantly, most importantly, the last attribute is self-control. The man will control himself. He's not going to meet you. And by the third date, he's trying to get you in the bed. You know, and I think a lot of you ladies make an exception for the guy that is very attractive. And you'll let him pass with all these uh, goofy behaviors and things like that. And he's already showing you the red flags. He don't respect you. He sees you only as an object. So. I want to encourage not only ladies that are single, but even the ladies that are established in relationships and, you know, you're living your best life with your husband. Try to minister to somebody and guide them, whether it's your daughters, your nieces, your neighbors, like at least share this information with them so they also know. And I think, you know, this is a topic, another topic, but I feel like there's a lot of uh, healthy relationships that they completely check out of the world and they just focus on themselves and they don't worry about their neighbors when the Bible is very clear that, uh, you know, widows and, and ladies that are older and things like that, you know, that are established. And, you know, they have the res uh, responsibility to instruct uh, young ladies to love their husbands, to honor their husbands and things like that. You know, like the idea is not to check out and say, okay, now that I'm successful in a relationship, now I can check out and I don't have to be, you know, uh, I don't have to, you know, engage and try to teach anybody. And this is actually something I appreciate from a gentleman that I would consider a mentor. You know, he, he you know, I'm not going to say he's a perfect guy, but he's much more, um, uh, he's much more, I'm going to say, uh, aware and he's much more grounded in the Bible than I am, you know, and, you know, and for a lot of you know, who know me very well, you know, I, I, I stay in my Bible, so I'm ready to share scripture, teach at any time if it's needed. Um, you know, there are times when I've had to learn from a lot of people and they've taught me a lot and God has been very faithful when it comes to, uh, ministry and things like that. But for, uh, for a lot of you that are in healthy relationships, I really want to encourage you, ladies in particular, and men, but you want to also instruct and teach other people, especially ladies, to be mindful of what type of person they should be considering when it comes to a relationship, because there are a lot of women that profess to love God, and everything that they're looking for has absolutely nothing to do with God. They're looking at the guy's body, they're looking at his finances, and they're not even interested in asking, does he even believe in marriage? There are a lot of women that they are moving in with men, they're going on dates with men, and the man don't believe in marriage. 
He don't believe in marriage. He doesn't believe in God. He doesn't believe in the marriage covenant. And even if he has an understanding of, of some type of God, it's not the right God. It's a God that he created in his imagination. And you're going to suffer, ladies, if you attach yourself to a man that is godless. You're, you are going to suffer. And it's not going to be something quick that the courts can fix. It's going to be something that's going to linger. And it might even spill into your uh, new relationship. So just wanted to share that. God bless you guys. I hope you guys are having a, a lovely day. Um, I think Trump is coming to California today, so, you know, hopefully we can hold on to him. Maybe he can fix things over here. <laughs> but take care. God bless you guys. If you have any comments, please hit me up. I will try to respond to any comments that you share. But I really feel like uh, not a lot of guys are addressing this from a Christian perspective, that there are a lot of men that have a lot of attributes that they know that they can attract women and they will... Uh, they will gladly cheat and they won't take you seriously because they can afford basically to to replace you, you know, because they're they're constantly getting attention. So, um, yeah, just wanted to share that. But, yeah, if you guys want to have a dialogue, hit me up. I'm always open to having a discussion. Take care, guys. Peace.